Hey guys, it's Melanie from Real Strong Mom. Just hopping in today for a little chat. I wanna chat a little bit today about something that a lot of crappy diets have in common. So for those of you that don't know me, I am a stay-at-home mom turned personal trainer and hormonal fat loss coach from Minnesota. I have three children. Happy holidays to all of you. It's been such a busy weekend. We had our first day today where we didn't really have anything going on. Hey, Carla. Um, so it's just been a really nice, just kind of relaxing day. I think my daughter is still in her pajamas and we've just been chilling. It's been really nice. And then we'll have another couple busy days as we head into Christmas Eve and Christmas Day for us. But something that I wanted to talk about today is something that a lot of crappy diets have in common and why this is important for us to remember as we're headed into the new year. So the thing that I see most often about crappy diets is that they usually have you restricting something in some way, right? So if you think about keto, you're restricting carbs and you're having lots of fat and protein. If you think of paleo, it's a lot of like, what, whole gra whole seeds, nuts, grains? I don't even know. I don't even know. Or there's low carb or there's low sugar or there's, I mean, there's all kinds of crazy diets out there. But one thing they always have in common is that they are asking you to either eliminate an entire food group or restrict yourself in some way. And <clears throat> the reason that this isn't good or why this makes a crappy diet is because it's not sustainable long-term. And that's something that you definitely need to think about when you are adapting like a new way of eating or you're um, trying something new is you always need to be asking yourself, is this something that I can sustain for the long-term? Is this something that I can be consistent with? Because something that I see most often as a coach is I see women adopt these new ways of eating and they do it and they're on and they're good and they, they do it until they're like, <sighs> I can't do this anymore, right? And so if that's the case, then it's not sustainable long-term, okay? So I need you to think about that when you are trying out something new. If you have to eliminate an entire food group and if, if it includes foods that you enjoy, stop and think. Okay, if it eliminates carbs completely and you are never allowed to have a cracker, a rice, a rice, if you're never allowed to have rice or pasta or um, any kind of starch and it's like no carbs, no carbs, no carbs, do you know what happens? Your body's like, I want carbs, I want carbs, I want carbs. So a lot of times when we restrict, our body is like, wants to like, counteract and we're like, oh my gosh, no, like I need to eat the things that I've been holding back on. So something that I find works really well inside my coaching club is we don't eliminate entire food groups. You can obviously eat anything that you want to. Nothing is off limits. We eat in what we call the 80-20 rule where 80% of the time we're eating foods that are whole, nutritious, um, lean proteins, whole, you know, whole grains, your fruits, your vegetables, those kind of things. And then the other 20% of the time we're enjoying what we call life. And that is what's happening right now with the holiday season. We're enjoying cookies and um, fudge and buffet style foods and just all the meals, your grandma's whatever, pie, you know, that's, those are real life foods. And those are foods that you don't want to be like, well, right now I'm doing keto, so I can't really have any of that. Or right now I'm doing this, so I can't have that. Because you, what's going to happen is you're just going to want those things more. Hey, Samantha. So I want you to think about those things when you are deciding come the new year like everybody's going to, you're going to be bombarded with all of these different plans and diets and programs and, and all these things. The first thing I want you to ask yourself is, am I restricting? Am I required to restrict something that I enjoy? And if the answer is yes, I want you to stop and think about that. If you have to eliminate something from your diet that you enjoy, then it's probably not the diet for you. It's probably not the program for you. I would also encourage you to find a program that fits your lifestyle find a diet that brings in all of the things that you totally love and just teaches you how to eat in your real life. Those are really important things. If you want to stop dieting, if you want to stop starting over every single new year and adopting a new plan and trying 25 different plans throughout the year, I would encourage you to find a plan that works for you that works within your real life, okay? Starting January 6th, I'm hosting a free challenge and I'd love for you to join us so I can show you what this looks like for us 
me and the girls that I work with, okay? It's super, super simple. It can work for you in your real life because I'm not gonna tell you exactly what to eat. I'm not gonna give you a meal plan. I'm not going to tell you have to eat this, this, and this, and you can't eat this, this, and this. I'm gonna teach you how to eat whatever you want in your real life. Okay, and it's so cool and it's so empowering and it's so it's such a confidence booster to know that no matter what situation you go into, no matter where you are, what season it is, what day of the week it is, that you can make these decisions and not have to think twice. Okay, remember, you're an adult. For the most part, most of the women that I work with, they're adults, they're moms, they're grown ass women, and you should be able to make these decisions. You should feel confident making these decisions no matter what. You don't need a cookie cutter plan that's restricting all of these foods because you can't control yourself. You absolutely can control yourself and you should be able to enjoy yourself around all the foods that you love, okay? And still see results, absolutely. I wanna teach you how to do this in a way that you can still lose weight, you can still build muscle, you can still have the energy and the confidence to fit in those jeans that you wanted to fit in all of 2019, okay? Bring on those jeans, 2020, here we come. All right, I'll drop the link down below. Feel free to just click the link, drop your email, I'll send you the information for the challenge, it'll get you right into the group, and next week I'll be adding women into the group, I'll be sending an email later this week that'll welcome you into the challenge. It's totally free, and I'd love for you to just come check it out and see how things work inside what I do. And this is one of my favorite things to do ever is host a challenge because I get to meet so many different women, I get to show them all how this is something that can really work in your real life. And we don't have to go on any more BS diets, okay? All right, you guys, have a super fantastic rest of your Monday. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow, okay? Bye.